Another day, another NHL 23 shootout challenge, and this one is going to be crazy. We're always trying to push this game to the extremes to score the next big goal or to find the next big glitch, and today we may have. I gotta give a shout out to Saint Nick Chell. His video popped up on my For You page, and he very well may have found the best glitch in all of NHL 23. We'll toss his video on screen, but the move is simple. You go in for a Zegers flip, and instead of the puck just flipping in the air it boomerangs back to you and you can use it anywhere on the ice now i'm not gonna lie this move is tough to pull off and you need a lot of time which is why it is the perfect candidate for the shootout challenge we are going to score a boomerang glitch goal today I know people are going to be mad. We're posting this big glitch for everyone to see. But listen, if you want glitches to be fixed, they have to be known. And I'm sure EA will be patching this one up soon. So I figured we'd hop into a shootout challenge and hit the glitch deek before it is fixed up. Today, we are hopping into two random online shootouts. And of course, we are putting some packs on the line. For shootout number one, we have the NHL Players Choice Packs. It's four different rounds. You can get some good cards. We're going to put two of those packs on. And for shootout number two, this is where it gets interesting we have the milestone event player pack you get a guaranteed event player item there are 89 overalls that we can pull from this pack but also they could be absolutely terrible so today we will see what we can do see if we can hit the boomerang shot and see if we can score some nasty goals let's go now for this glitch streak you can use literally anyone i was hitting this with like 79 overalls no problem so i'm good with any team that we get today we will go three two one and the Carolina Hurricanes, honestly, this will work out. You guys know we're rocking the reverse retros today. The Canes, kind of meh. All right, kind of meh, but we'll look good doing it. Okay, this glitch is not widespread enough for a lot of people to have seen this yet. I think there's probably only a handful of people that have pulled this off in general. So this is going to be huge today if we can score in our first attempt in a little shootout challenge with all of the pressure on the line. So you know what? We're just going to try it right off the rip here. All right. I'm not as good with the righties, but I think we can still do it. Watch this. Yes, sir. The booming. Walk in. Little dot. We may have just figured out a bit of an issue with the glitch. I did not go into a Datsuk flip there. I did the glitch. And then when I pulled back to go into a Datsuk, it instantly flipped the puck up and the whistle blew instantly as well. So that could be a bit of an issue, but let's try this again. Bang! The glitch sink! As... I'm not gonna lie, you guys are gonna think this is set up. I don't know what that Tendy's doing. I don't know if the glitch is messing with his head as much as it's messing up with mine. He went flying as we hit him with the flying poke and now we are up 1-0 okay we got Sveshnikov to do it dude if we could imagine we could just throw it straight into the net you know what i mean all right we're gonna go for it one more time <laughs> yes sir <laughs> this is so bad dude this is so bad ea if you're watching this we gotta patch this right away it starts out as kind of like a fun little thing that you can mess around with you can try but it actually turns into debatably the most effective move in nhl history because there is absolutely there's just absolutely no shot that you make a save on a move like that. So you guys have seen. This is the boomerang glitch. I had to show you it. We hit it as clean as we physically could. Come on, EA. We hit the boomerang deke as clean as we physically could. And we scored some nasty goals in the process. Listen, I do feel a little bit bad for what we have done. Maybe this is EA you know, banning us right before our eyes. But uh, I'm here for you guys, all right? I will I will take the ban for your guys' entertainment. Do not try this at home. Ah, you know what? Go ahead and try it at home. Right? You're not getting banned for this. It's in the game, you know? This is this is a move that's in the game. You know, you have to do a little button combo to get it done. But we scored a couple nasty goals. We finished it. I'm not going to abuse it as much for shootout number two, but we showed you what we can do. Okay, we just got a message from the guy that we just played against. Shout out to Sinless Snow. He said that deke, though, is that 
that for a new shootout video. If you guys think that this is fake or whatever, all right, I, I promise you it's 100% legit. Sinless Snow, for real, you're a legend. I'm sorry that we had to do that to you, but yes, you did get into the new shootout challenge video. We, we hit him back just so we know that I had to hit it before they fix it. You know, that, that's the mindset of today's video. We're hitting it before the patch. Well, now we have shown you guys what we can do with this new glitch deke. We're going to go ahead and get our second random team in three, two, one. The LA Kings. Definitely not ideal for this deke, but we'll make it work. Game number two underway. You guys got to let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Do deeks like this like completely ruin the game or is it just something fun that you can occasionally pull off? You guys got to think yes for shootouts this is overpowered i try to do it in game and it is near impossible to get the space to actually make it work not saying it is impossible but it is you know definitely near impossible we're gonna have some fun in this one let's go <laughs> i love doing that when they go for the flying poke you just you take your own time you stuff it into the net no shot we're missing the net from there as we just walk it right in a nice goal no glitch needed all right we are having some fun today man this has been a banger of a shootout challenge we're with the fake fly we are getting dialed in at 10 2 no i mean i don't want to jinx it but zero goals against so far in today's challenge okay let's just you know let's just show this guy what we can do oh, oh no okay Dude, I feel so bad. If these guys haven't seen this move, just imagine you're playing goalie and for the first time ever, you see this in front of your eyes. Oh, I feel terrible. I, I feel absolutely terrible. Okay, no more cheese. We're just gonna, that's it. That's it. We, we scored a nice one already. We did hit the boomerang deke. Now it's time to just dial it in. Let's score a nice clean goal. All right, you know what? Hey, instead of doing it, we're gonna do a normal Zegers pass here. Watch this. Okay, it's Kopitar, and instead of doing the Zegers pass, he just chucked it to the corner. That, that, that was a little ugly. My bad. My bad. Yeah, I forgot. Kopi probably doesn't have the hands to necessarily pull that one off as we were locked down at Tendi, and boom. Boys, I don't know what to say. All right, we hopped into two random online shootouts. We scored some nasty goals, and we had a total of zero goals against in today's video. I don't know if I was just locked in or if our opponents were struggling or if the boomerang glitch just got in their head. Whatever the case, that's two wins. We get to keep both of the sets of packs and we hopefully get something nice for our two big wins as well. Okay, you know what? I debated doing this, but I kind of feel bad. I didn't want to have this whole video be about the boomerang deke and then leave you guys out to dry and not show you how to do it. So here is a very quick rundown. In order to do this deke, you need to know how to do the Michigan and the Zegers pass. I've got videos on my channel on how to do those, so go check them out. And if you already know, well, let's get into it. So this is nice and simple. You're just going to go down into the Michigan, again, holding LB, having that analog stick all the way to the left side then you're gonna hold rb you're gonna quickly let go and then re-trigger the left bumper so boom boom and our guy's gonna go back down to the position then you do the michigan sweep and all of a sudden you get the boomerang so essentially you're just doing everything that you do with the zegers flip just adding in the letting go and re-triggering of left bumper and then you can come down and score the boomerang goal i'm assuming the ea is going to be patching this up very soon so if you want to go have some fun with it feel free but uh for now it does actually work okay our boy sinless snow said yeah that deke is crazy gg all right listen people aren't getting too mad about it at least Shout out to Sinless Snow, man. This guy's a legend. And here we go. Now it is our time to shine. We have still not pulled a purple card from our shootout challenges. Will today be the big day? Will this yellow pack come through and save the day? 33% chance at an 86 plus. Let's find out. First up, we got the NHL Players Choice Packs. So the good news is we do have four rounds. The bad news is the first three rounds are usually absolutely terrible. So we're just going to speed through these first rounds and yeah. See, we got it. We got a Koi Perry. But don't you worry. All right. I'm feeling something different today. Stammer 84 overall in round two. That is not bad. That is going to be our best pull from round two. But hey, we will 84 overall. Listen, they're good for the sets. Anything, even if we get 84, 85, 86, I'll be happy. We are still looking for our first 87 overall pull. And I don't want it to be a goaltender. Please. No goalies. And our final round. This is where the biggies usually sit. All right, little purple. We need it to pop up. 
An 80 overall Rodriguez, not what you love to see, Mertz, or not what you love to see in an 82 overall Mikey. Yes, we get an icon. Yes, we'll be able to reroll that at some point and hopefully get a Gretzky, but today is not that day. Round four actually was the worst round. You know what? It is all okay because I know that this yellow pack has an 89 overall in it. I'm just going to tell you right now, I already get this weird feeling, you know? I just woke up this morning and I, I smelled something in that yellow pack. But first, we got to get there. We still have another player's choice. Round one, not ideal. Hey, but shout out to the man, Phil Kessel, you know? Philly's a legend. Round number two. We're just looking for one purple, man. I wouldn't mind. Okay, an 83 overall. Ah, dude, it would have been nice if we got the, the fantasy hockey, though, with Dobson. That card is flying up in overall. Each goal that this guy scores, he's going up plus two, and he's been burying a lot of goals. Please, give us some luck here. Round three and four were so bad in the last pack. I think we're due for... <laughs> Come on, man. 87. 87. 87. 87. They're all 80s, dude. And then an 81. Shout out to Zach Wrenski, dude, as he kind of saved the, the last round. But holy, man, what is going on? How, like, how many packs have we opened up over the course of the last few episodes? It's insane. The, the fact that we have yet to get a single purple card, the odds are just astronomical. Come on. The yellow pack has got to save the day. Cue the hype music. We need a little energy in here. All right, let's go. Today is the day. The milestone event player pack is changing everything. In two, one, three, go. We got some energy, all right? I'm feeling a little something going on in this building right now. We need one purple card. Again, you are only... Don't think we were guaranteed a power up collectible. Honestly, maybe better than any card that we get today. We will take that. We will take that. We still get a guaranteed event player from this as well. As Tate Thompson, 82 overall, that's not our event player. We we will take that. Keep this rolling here. Pedersen, 82 overall, couple 82s. Are they saving it for the end of the pack? Three cards left. Two cards left. What? Oh, it's the last one. You gotta be kidding me. Yo, this is gonna be sick. EA has saved up all the drama for our last card in our last pack. Again, this is a guaranteed events player. Do you believe that this is an 89 overall? I do. Here we go. In three, two, one, bang. There is absolutely no way that I pulled this guy again. We opened up two of these last night on stream. One of the packs, I got an 81 overall. The worst card that you can get. The second pack, who did we get? This guy right here. The only redeeming factor of this card is we learned something new yesterday. Alex Goligoski had one of the sickest first pitches of an MLB game that I have ever seen. He sauced it from the pitcher's mound. It looked better than any of the shots that he has ever taken in the NHL. Rocked it right down the center of the strike zone. So respect to Alex for that. You know what? You did something sick. You're not what you'll want to see in a pack, though. Are you kidding me, dude? I've opened up three of these, and I get... 283 overalls 181 overall you know it's basically the worst case scenario but it is what it is maybe this is what i deserved after doing the boomerang glitch so many times in today's video or maybe ea is just saving something bigger for us in the next shootout challenge anyways that's gonna do it for the boomerang glitch shootout challenge i hope you guys found this entertaining or helpful again i know it's cheesy i know that ea is gonna be fixing it soon we had to get a shootout challenge in with it as we can for real thank you guys so much for all all the love and support to all my american viewers happy thanksgiving to you and your family hope you enjoy it and that is going to be it for me today if you guys did enjoy the video hit the video with a like to let me know hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1 million subscribers and that's the boomerang glitch i'm out of here peace